All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have something cool going on with Unity that I want to show to you guys. Um, I've been working on uh, this game right here. This is a, like a third person uh, system. So it's like a melee, a melee system um, with some bow and arrow. So you can see some melee weapons. We have some axe and some sword here and some bow and then some arrow. All right. Um, I've been playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey a lot lately. I played it a lot, so I, I, I fell in love with the game and uh, I really like uh, Cassandra and Alexios, those two characters in the game. Uh, the, their movements, uh, the aiming, the attack and all that. And you could see in the game they had like uh, two weapons. They had like the axe and the sword and then they also had like uh, the bow and arrow. All right. So if you see my character here, I select my character. You could see a lot of things here, a lot of things going on here, a lot of game objects, a lot of actors, a lot of components coming together to actually make this system work. And you could see I also have some scripts here for movement, user input, and blah, 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 blah. A whole lot, a whole lot here. All right. So, um, this. I think I will just kind of like play the game so you see how uh, it looks like. First of all, let me just put off the sound. Yeah, because the sound actually is so like so so loud. Yeah, makes a lot of noise. Uh, for now, let me just uh, disable the music and the ambient sound. And then, uh, okay, let me just leave the footstep sound and then, yeah. Alright, so. Here we go. So, it's taking some time. Uh, wow, this is taking longer than expected. Yeah, Unity, yeah. Uh, this version of Unity really has a lot of problems. I don't know why. I think I have to upgrade. Uh, let me reset my editor view and I'm sure this error will go. I don't know why this keeps happening. Let me zoom in back on my player. I want to get my camera back to. Okay, so I don't know why this version of Unity keep, keeps messing up. I think they, they have to do a fix or something. Alright, so here we are. You can see over here we have our third person character with some camera movement you could see that now um, let's do a walk so you can see some footstep sounds over here all right so you can hear the character's footstep sounds she can actually sprint yeah so there's walk sprint yeah and now if you take a look at uh, the character's feet you could see some dust particles from the character's feet all right yeah so that's a cool feature there just to make the game world feel amazing so when the character steps on the ground you could see dust coming out of the feet all right and um the footstep system is actually handled in a unique way so let me pause and then show you something um, I'm going to go to the scene view uh, so right in the scene view I'm going to select the ground here the ground all right so with the ground selected you could see I have some script over here called ground type all right so I have various ground types all right so right now the ground type is set to a concrete all right so let me set the ground type to sand instead of concrete or let's say grass all right so I've set the ground type to grass and let me just enter back into the game. You'll see the footstep sound changes, alright? It changes depending on the ground type, alright? So in the game, we can actually have different footstep sounds depending on the ground, alright? Depending on the ground. So you could see we have like some grass sounds here. And that's a very cool feature over here, alright? So let me just send this guy back to the concrete because yeah this is a concrete ground all right 
So here we go. And that has been a very very cool feature over there. And then there is also crouch. You will see when she enters into crouch, her footstep sounds are less noticeable. All right, you can't notice her footstep sound. So she's like in stealth mode. All right. So crouch made puts uh, the character in a, in stealth mode. All right. So this is some stealth mode right here and once we start sprinting she automatically comes out of uh, the crouch state all right so that's really really cool and also we have like um, weapons so you could pick the sword by pressing the one key on the keyboard and if you are not if you are not attacking after 15 seconds she puts the sword back so you could see that over the when she picks the sword and she's not attacking, not performing any attack animation, not doing any attack with the sword, uh, it stays for 15 seconds and the sword gets back into uh, uh, its original position, into the unequipped position. All right. So, and if I pick the sword again, you could see she enters into uh, another motion, another state, another movement state. All right. She's no longer in like um, the original walk state. So it's just like in some kind of careful move state like she moves carefully all right now she dropped the sword you see the movement change the motions change when she picks the sword she's like careful kind of like moving careful and slowly all right and there are some attack you could see some some attack combos so she also makes some attack sounds and also um we can also equip an axe so the equipping animations are different for both weapons so we have the axe equipped and you can see it also has its own attack animations attack moves attack combos and yeah she can also after 15 seconds yeah drops it back so you know what let's try and attack this wall you see something cool here she gets bound back okay she's she gets repelled from the wall okay so because the wall is a hard surface you can't actually attack the wall so when she hits the wall she kind of like gets repelled backwards all right she gets yeah so you can see it. you can see she gets repelled backwards because that's a wall you can't actually hit a wall all right then also there is the camera collision so the camera can collide with walls so you could see that over here very cool the camera collision and then here we go so and we can't see through the character right so when the camera gets close to the character the character disappears all right so the camera doesn't also pass through walls all right that's another cool feature and then finally we also have i think uh no not finally we she can actually roll or like dodge all right dodge enemy attacks by rolling over on the ground yeah so rolling over like this she dodges enemy attacks and we have hit effects for different different surfaces so if i pick the ball right click to pick a bow all right and pick an arrow and then we click and hold when we release she fires all right so you can see this is metal so it makes like uh, a metal sound effect and you can see the metallic particles the spark all right and there is sand and there is uh, clay so I didn't have the correct particles for clay I I think I added two particles for clay so I'm actually randomizing the particle that gets uh, called okay so I, I actually needed two particles but the original the first particle I had had some issues so you could see this is actually clay but this particle doesn't look clay yeah so I have to fix that all right yeah so I have to fix that and then uh we have water you get some ripple effects and some ripple sounds exactly as 
you see them and you see the arrow actually sticks on these surfaces so the arrow sticks and it get destroyed after some set time all right after some specific time it gets destroyed all right so you can see they all got destroyed you can also fire arrow at enemies so i just set up uh, a simple character here to take damage here we go you see the arrow stuck in the character's torso and chest area you can fire arrows for the character and eventually the character uh dies okay here we go and there we go the character is dead and you could see uh the arrow count on the top right corner so we have five more so once our arrow gets finished we can't actually fire uh any more arrows okay here we go now you see the arrows are done see she doesn't fire you actually get this weird uh this this animation uh but nothing is happening right we just see this animation but she actually doesn't fire any arrow what i actually have to do is this uh this uh kind of like disable the bow pickup when you right click all right so you can't actually even pick the bow in the first place all right uh and then there's the arrow pickup you could pick more arrows so she makes this weird sound when she picks up the arrow i don't like the sound effect but i'll actually have to fix that i just place this as as a placeholder all right so she says like yes all right but i don't really like the sound uh i'll take it out yeah. but this is just a placeholder uh for the arrow you could see the aiming and then you could see the crosshairs so once i start uh clicking left once i start uh trying to like pulling the string back uh the crosshair changes in size to correct to actually focus on my target okay so you can see it reduces in size to actually focus on the target then i fire all right so basically this is the cool system we have here uh, i'm thinking of making a tutorial on on the bow system so the tutorial will only be focused on uh, the bow system because that that looks uh, very complicated uh i think the sword and axe uh system wouldn't be so difficult all right but i don't know maybe i might do that let me see what you think in the comment uh, in the comments section below uh also don't forget to subscribe leave a like and then uh let me know your suggestions in the upcoming videos um i think the tutorial will do i'll do a tutorial on the bow system how to do like the aiming and all that yeah and uh structure it very well and neatly so you guys can understand so i did a lot of research on this system you could also even see uh she tilts her head towards uh the camera movement when she's in aim so if she looks up she tilts the head upwards when she looks down she tilts the head downward to focus on the target so you could see she tilts her head in the direction of the uh crosshair like where the crosshair is positioned to target like where we actually want to throw the arrow towards okay so you see there are a lot of cool cool things playing uh, to make the world feel uh, impressive yeah so a lot of things coming together to make the whole system uh, look cool all right so catch me in the next video and then uh i'll explain to you how all these things are done we will do everything from scratch most of the animations are from mexamo the character itself is from mexamo uh most everything most of the things here are free uh, i think in the tutorial we'll be using only free assets we'll write the script from scratch we are going to write the code ourselves everything done in unity c sharp and yeah basically does that so catch you in the next video and stay tuned for uh what's going to happen and please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and also support my work and also uh to help me better this tutorial let me know your comments on uh, how i can better improve the tutorials as we go on and then uh 
suggest to me uh, the best uh, approach suitable for you guys. Alright, so see you in the next one. Bye-bye.